This morning we are saving you money. Gas prices in Rhode Island are up again this week by a penny. AAA of Southern New England says the average is $3.81 a gallon. Prices have increased 13 cents over the last month. So joining us this morning with tips to keep our car running efficiently to save on gas is Robert Kennedy, an automotive technology professor at New England School of Technology. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming out on this beautiful spring day. So how can we fuel, you know, use our fuel efficiently? What exactly does that mean? Uh, gassing up, gas up efficiently. Don't don't stop at the gas station every day and put in ten, fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, fill it up at the beginning of the week. Save energy that way. Uh, don't overfill the vehicle. You can once the the nozzle clicks, stop. That's enough gas. Okay. And fill up once a week. That's the best way to do it. Okay, all right. That's good for me to know because I'm the one that will go in and do the extra five dollars or five yeah, change. Do you waste on energy though? I mean, you're better just making that one stop once a week if you can. Good. Nice to know. Another factor, of course, is changing our spark plugs. Now, what are spark like? Where, where are they first uh, of all? The spark where are we plugs are located doing? in the cylinder head here on top of the engine. Okay. And you should change them according to manufacturer specifications. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, the manufacturer will recommend changing them every thirty thousand some every hundred thousand but go by what the manufacturer recommends don't overdo it okay. overdoing it can be potentially dangerous to the engine let's talk about tire pressure this is something i get reprimanded about a lot by my husband every time he takes my car he says you're supposed to be filling your tires so at least i know this is where i'm supposed to be yeah check, check the tire pressure very easy thing to do uh, your tire pressures are, uh, are located in the owner's manual what mm -hmm. the tire pressure should be uh, or it's located on the door placard. Don't go by what it says on the sidewall. Okay. That, that's the maximum pressure. That's too much. All right. But like once every other week, come out, check your tire pressure. It takes two seconds. Just take the cap off of the, uh, the Schrader valve here. Mm -hmm. Take a tire pressure gauge. You can pick one of these up at Benny's or your local auto parts store. Okay. Place it right over. And here we go. We can check our tire pressures very easily. Awesome. And what are some final tips for people to drive smarter? Use your cruise control. Slow down. Maintain a constant speed. Mm -hmm. uh, but try to use your cruise control whenever available, whenever you can, and, and just slow down. Go the speed limit. You know, the faster you go, the higher the engine revs, the more the wind's fighting against the car, the, the worse you're doing on fuel economy. All right, Rhode Islanders, you hear that. Be safe, drivers. Thank you, Robert, so much for these great oh, tips. You're welcome. And to see these tips, just head to our website, WPRI.com.